Jenny. Come on. You don't have to miss it. Tell them to start without me. They need to check on Marie. She'll be fine. You don't need to check on her every five minutes. Come on, it's starting. Okay, you're right. For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. I'd seen many a terrible case. Sadly, most of them unresolved. But in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here, in Daily View. The police are here. What on earth is all the commotion? Now where's my camera? I need to see what's going on outside my window. Now, I can get a closer look. What on earth is all the commotion? That's Tony Morgan's blood. My God, I, I, I hope he's all right. Please let him be all right. Harold Levy owns most of the flats in Daily View. I wonder if he saw something. Shirley Downs. She runs the crow's nest. Her office overlooks the courtyard. Bound during a production. Dear God. Charlotte May, Mr. Morgan's daughter, has been kidnapped. Old Mrs. Doer. She's usually peering through her window watching our neighbors. It's past her bedtime. The chloroform. What on earth?
Theodore and Annabelle McKee, I believe. I really should get to know my neighbors better. Smashed plant pot. I, I must have slipped through it. I should have come to my window sooner. A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Who doesn't bear thinking about? Imagine if it was Catherine. Time to pay my neighbors a visit and see what they know. Charlotte May could only be seven or eight years old. Why would someone want to take her? It doesn't make any sense. Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? So you know what happened. They're looking for a kidnapper. A search is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley. She owns the pub across the way. The searchers are all meeting there first. What do you know about the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Not much. That's why I'm 
talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. Mrs. Doer. She knows everything that goes on here. I wouldn't be surprised if she saw the kidnapper. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. That's an awful thing to say. Well, have you seen her? Always fawning over that little girl. All alone in that big house. Plenty of room to hide someone. I can see that you've put a lot of thought into this, Mrs. McKee. A little too much, love. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks it. Oh, blast. What time is it? Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, surely. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway? Uh, yes, good night. Good night, Mr. Conway. Uh, we'll talk again soon. So the kidnapper smashed this during the altercation. Mr. Morgan must have taken quite a hit. Good evening, Mr. Levy. Evening. How strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on our doorstep. You ain't wrong. It's a bloody mess. Did you see what happened at all? No. Uh, how well did you know Charlotte May? You lived next door. You must have seen her a lot. I hope they're going to clean all this mess up tonight. I've got a business to run. I'm sure this must be a great inconvenience to you. Huh. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. Don't be late. I haven't forgotten. Good. Keep it that way, and we'll get along just fine. May I ask what you were doing tonight? No. Conway, may I have a moment? Miss Downs, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you say? I can come back if you need some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe this is happening so close to home. <laughs> well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? Not everyone in daily view is as they seem, Mr. Conway. Uh, Miss Downs, who are you referring to? That son of a bitch right there, with the smug look on his face. Uh, Mr. Levy? <laughs> Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? Well, I pay him my rent once a fortnight. No other than that. I didn't really speak to the man. Well, sadly, I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries coming and going at night. You think he took Charlotte May? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Downs, uh, what are you basing this on? <sighs> Experience, Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I, I need to help the police with their search. Tie up 
a small child. Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Your daughter is a police officer, is she not? She is. Here, I found this. Ah, what's this then? A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that poor girl. Thought I'd better pick it up before Shirley Downs gets her mitts on it. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. Can you tell me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. Did you see anything else at all? Just make sure to give your daughter that brooch. Oh, there's Mr. Morgan. It never fails to amaze me what some people are capable of.